the cozy place you got here. Where is everyone? Dead's on the mission. Oh, and wow. Nobody else. Not since the war, anyways. But the war is over now. Oh, so the city was tough enough to live through the nuclear war, but not the civil one. How long has it been just the two of you? Uh, almost a year. We are lucky. Had a whole box of green stuff. Like the rich guys. Wait. Artyom, it's satellite map. This is the valley where Alyosha and you got lost. Hmm. Where did you get this from? Stokers brought it from the SATCOM center a long time ago. So your father's on a mission? When is he coming back? I don't know. When did he leave? A month back. And he's been off the air for the last three weeks. I see. Mm. Do you know where he went? What was the mission? He went to that SATCOM center. We were going to leave the city in the spring. He went to go get the impact map. Said, we're sure to find a clear place if we get one. Got it. Private. We need to use your radio. Okay. Let's contact the Aurora. I'm going to get that map. We should tell them. Hmm. Do you read me, Aurora? Miller here. Colonel, read you loud and clear. How did you get on the air? A change of plans. We found the survivors. They say the SATCOM center is still there. I'm going there for the map. Artyom takes the Institute. Copy that, Colonel. How is Anna doing? She's asleep. Try to make haste there. Katya says Anna's going to have another attack soon, and she's way too weak. Come again, Aurora! Over! Oh, you copy, man. Aurora? Over! Damn. Static again! Artyom, if his father had really found a clean place, this is a chance for Anna, for the boys, for all of us! A chance to have a real life! I'll go get that map. Meet me here once you recover the medicine. Then we'll Wait, go get the car. you can't car. go outside with the anti-rad. We still have three left. Dad was saving them for our escape from the city. Great. What? Thank you. Artyom, get geared up in the meantime. But don't just give it to us. Look, there's even a workbench here. You guys have got to go too. Go. Keep it. It might be of more use where you're going. Don't forget the ammo. Tell me when you're ready. I don't know about this, man. We thought the valley was gonna be okay, too, and how did that turn out? Moscow, radiation too high, no communications, uninhabitable. Volga, radiation levels okay. Anomalous magnetic activity. More recent. <sighs> Tell me, Kirill, how did you and your father end up the only survivors? The green stuff. The anti-rad ran out. You can't survive without it. The fire stations rioted, the committee sent in soldiers, the war broke out. And then, some died in combat, others in the fire. Not enough people to guard the entrances, so the mutants broke through everywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I I'm okay, don't worry. No communications risk game. Don't ah, forget to restore some filters, Artyom. Won't have time to do that later. Mm. As far as I understand, that ventilation is our exit to the station. Yes, that one! Then you go through the station, then take the right tunnel. This thing is simple. Just take a shot if you feel sick. Thank you. So, this is what had been keeping them all alive. And you're giving your last three to us? Is that gonna be okay? You guys should come with us. Wait, what am I looking at? I'm looking at this note, right? Caspian Arrow. Radiation level's okay, dried up sea, harsh climate, risky. It's all the places we've been to. Burrabai, River Valley, suspicious spot to the north. 
Otherwise, radiation is okay. Viable? No. Is it? River Valley? Is that the taiga? Because, you know, we had the whole issue with the radiation water. Norilsk. Radiation off the charts. Permafrost. No good. Yamantau. High radiation levels. Automated transmission. Suspicious. No kidding. Kolma. Kolima. We'd rather have you come visit us. Vladivostok. Lake Baikal. Initial review seems promising. Need more data. Novosibirsk. Radiation off the charts. No survivors. Uninhabitable. Where we are right now. Kemerovo. One man always on the air. <laughs> what does that mean? To Private Klebnikov, for the duration of the commander's absence, Private Klebnikov is hereby given charge of the shelter. Besides his regular duties, he is until further notice ordered to number one, keep the shelter door locked under any circumstances, check the lock twice when stepping out of the shelter, number two, check the mushroom field twice a day, burning any discovered slime to ashes together with affected substrate. It's better to lose one patch than the whole field. Number three, Never go to the dirty stations. Number four, check and reset the traps at least once every two days. There is no need for the animals to suffer needlessly, even if they are mutants. Number five, eat the liver. Number six, eat the liver, no excuses. Number seven, keep the radio battery charged. Be ready for contact every noon, half an hour window of opportunity. Number eight, cheer up. His dad. It's just a dad in the sun here. Just like the radio message that we heard before coming here. But hopefully this dad's gonna come back. Did you want to give me a railgun, Miller? I don't have very many materials. That is a problem. Filters? Okay. Definitely feel like we want some hand grenades and molotovs, but even more than that. Ammo. Ammo is important. Oh god, it's so dirty. <gasps> Just cleaning the thing is using so much. Oh my god. I probably shouldn't have healed that. That was a Tihar. Shoot. Where is your railgun, Miller? I don't want to... I don't want to clean stuff that I'm not going to use. This costs less. But we get less bullets. I think for these guys, four shotgun shells for one guy is too much. It's very strong, but overkill. Okay, we really don't have enough to even make one grenade or Molotov. I guess that's that then. Oh well. Oh, the railgun. Linear electromagnetic system imparting a very high acceleration to its projectiles. Has higher capacity compared to the pneumatic system. Very high damage. Okay. Not sure how to use it, but we'll figure it out. Lack of supplies, lack of ammo. I mean, that's pretty much what the post-apocalyptic lifestyle is like anyway. We're just getting a better taste of it now. Oh. Yeah, we actually do need the beeping because I'm so bad at looking for supplies. Okay, I don't really have incendiary ammo. I don't even have that many shotgun shells, oh my god. You know what, I gotta take the thing off. It's very powerful, but our shotgun rounds are going way too fast. Way. Yeah, we'll just go back to one shot at a time. Accurately, slowly, and try to conserve ammo that way. Could I at least make a few more shotgun shells? Or if I don't have shotgun shells, this would actually probably be a good time for me to switch back to a revolver because if we're not gonna have shotgun shells, then we should at least have a weapon that gives us something, right? Ah, but we can't switch weapons here because we're not at the Aurora. 
That's okay. This means that if I see another weapon later on, that's not a shotgun, I should switch. The other thing I can do is I can dismantle to make bullets for the shotgun, but I feel like that's pretty dumb. Yeah, I don't like that either. Dismantling gets us two, two. That's so little, it's not worth it. Like a little bit. Okay. We all good? Are you ready? Good luck. Remember why we are in this. The life of my daughter, your wife, is in your hands now. Now go. You get the maps. I'll get the medicine. I got you. Already. How does this railgun work? Is it based off electricity and not steel balls? No, the pumping, the pressure is based off electricity. Jeez, how'd you all just end up dying on the cart? I need supplies very badly. Okay, that sound is annoying. But I'd rather be annoyed than not have supplies right now. <laughs> hmm. Good, good. Get a little bit back. Should I be making more steel balls? No, I think we should try this weapon out first. Awesome. Wait, there was another way down there, right? I thought that was the main way, but are we going this way? Oh, this seems like the right way to go, actually. February 12th. Second team has confirmed that the main warehouse is empty. Containers at the cargo yard are full of empty boxes. We have a one-month reserve of radio protector. Time to cut down on the supply. Send a team to investigate the main building. 20th. The team is back from the main building. 70% losses, acceptable. Ground floor storage has around half a year worth of radio protector at present consumption level. Po put the tactics plan up for discussion at the next committee meeting. Radio protector, like the green stuff? March 2nd. Tactics plan has been approved by the committee, maintenance department, in charge of transportation, Special Department will handle the track clearing operation. All surface operations reserves are to be transferred to the Special Department. Losses to be replaced by Penitentiary Contingent. Surface operations? Is this about the leadership leaving here? March 18. Track clearing operation commencing. Maintenance Department reports work a week behind the schedule due to insufficient supply of filters and losses above expected levels. Extra attention to maintenance. 27. Special department to allocate two companies for guarding the clearance teams. 
Reserves depleted. Work is only 30% complete. April 11. Riot quelled. Track 35% cleared. Additional security paying off. Losses stabilizing at replenishable levels. When you say losses, do you mean loss of human lives? Because that's such an inhumane way of talking about it. Replenishable levels? April 17. Mass riots on multiple stations. Special department unable to respond in sufficient force, with track clearing security occupying too many of their assets. 50% done, progressing as per schedule now. Maintenance department head up for commendation. May 2nd. Riots on dirty stations, tunnels in lockdown, barricades at key intersections, situation stable, clean station population under 50 to be conscripted into the special department. May 19. Breakthrough in the center, armored rail cars lost, situation critical. May 20th. Lieutenant Colonel Klebnikov's team has localized a breakthrough. Tunnel demolished, riders stopped before Sibirskaya station, track clearing resumed, 70% complete. All available special department units assigned to Operation Security. So that's the Kirill's dad. June 5th, Sibirskaya station lost. Lieutenant Colonel Klebnikov ordered to bring the station under control at any cost. 7th, Klebnikov's operation a resounding success. Rioters on Sibirskaya wiped out. Klebnikov promoted to the rank of Colonel. Track clearing 90% complete. Ahead of schedule, all reserves topside. 20th, track clearing 100% complete, transportation 90% operational, supply department quotes a range of 1400 kilometers, basing on the available satellite recon data. This should be enough to get to buy call through clean areas with 300 kilometers to spare. Yeah, that's the one of the ones that we saw on the maps earlier. I guess that's not the taiga, that's the actual viable place that we might be thinking of, if we can make it out of here alive. 28. The engine burnt by the riders, plan, plan? July 17. Special Department forces on the surface cut off. All reserves assembled at the HQ. August 2nd. This is it, I think. This is only fair. What is? So is that based off electricity? Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's okay, as long as we stay in the tunnel here. Oh. Whoa, what the hell? What even is any of this? We don't want to jump down there, right? We can probably walk around this way. Oh, the railgun is gonna be so good here. Oh, we actually couldn't get through. Okay. I see. Am I really missing that many resources? Just using my naked eye, it seems like I'm not getting all of them at all. On the people? Mmm, earlier the bunch of people didn't have anything, so I didn't think that these guys would have anything either. living here in the tunnel much like what we were doing I mean exactly like what we were doing but maybe not within the train cart itself funny how we get away from the metro but we were doing it on a train at the end of the day we can never get away from the train Uh, 
I'm gonna need a lot of supplies where I'm going. But having the railgun makes me feel a lot better. God. I'm all by myself now. No. Okay. It's leaking. Somewhat fancy looking place. Oh, individual carts. Are we following the cable? Hold on, I didn't actually finish looking down there yet. There's multiple sections. Maybe I should have brought the compass. Metro 2034. I think it beeps even though the resources are really far away, which is why it's so constant. Thought I saw another prompt. Yeah, safety deposit boxes. We had quite a thing going on here. Which way am I going? Let's try this way first. What is that? Oh, it's a shambler. Same type of weapon as what I have right now. I mean, same type of bullet, so I'll pass on it. There's something very eerie about how quiet it is right now. Pairing that up with the constant beeping. Oh my god. At least we're getting supplies here. I do miss supplies so easily. Right, okay, so that's not a way we want to go. No such thing as losing air pressure on this gun, the rail gun. Very good. Sorry, I guess. You weren't really trying to aim for me. Yeah, this does rely on ammo, right? Because sometimes I see that there's an ammo count. It's just a type of pressure. But the actual bullet is still something we gotta make. Which, uh, let's make a little bit. We've got a lot of supplies now. Should be okay for the next little bit. Thanks to the metal detector. Y'all know where I am already? Just leave. Good, good, good. Supplies everywhere. Oh, what the hell happened to these people, though? They lost their heads and all. Another scope. Oh. 
part of the war. They were fighting against the rioters. Oh jeez, not this again. Somehow made it across. No, 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 no! I'd rather you all come attack me. I'm not going down there. Come get me! Oh, the, the whole platform is collapsing! Even the parts that they're stepping on. <laughs> the music can't decide if it wants to kick in or not. They couldn't come get me because I was up there. They didn't know how to get up there. Oh! Wait, it's getting real dark. Did the light just get shot out? The big floodlight? That's gonna break. And now y'all come out, huh? <laughs> I guess we're okay. Do they want me to go down though? Because the platform is break. And it feels like there might be something down there. Going down on purpose. Yeah, just to get the chemicals. That'd be good. We're always looking for more supplies. Mm, the other side of the barricade. I see. They even have some leftover residue. Okay. We're really all alone here. It's freaking me out. Especially since Miller was with us the whole time earlier. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now we're getting more supplies back, finally. That probably means that people haven't been in this area for a while. Because earlier, the sections that we had... There's not many supplies, I guess, because... Number one, we were fighting mutants, and number two... A lot of people had already been through those areas. Oh my god! We're back in our element, the metro. Now we have to get a Lenin Square station. Seems really far away. Ah. 
Ah. Uh. Hey, look, a bell. My favorite. A boat? We have to use a boat? Really? Well, if that's what you want me to use. Maybe we should have turned the lantern on. Oh my god. What was that? We're stuck. Come on. That thing that was in the water earlier, that didn't get us. Maybe it's gonna come back again. But I think I'll be getting off here. Whoa. Whoa, I have two steel balls. Don't want to make too much, but... Yeah? Just don't come out again? I'm cool with that. You missed the part about not coming out again, and I saw that. Are we allowed to walk in the water? <laughs> um... Oh! kind of hurting me. I don't want to use the health kit just yet though because resources are limited. <laughs> I'm getting hurt already? He's got- how are they getting me? They're shooting at me? Oh my god. We need to not waste bullets. Let's go. They're like leeches. Are you alive? Ah! What the hell? I really don't want to be here. That's another shambler. Please! Worn out diary. December 10th. Looks like we're more or less settled now. Sure feels weird. Life's over. The whole world is cinders. Nothing but static on the radio. We don't have that much longer, with a counter ringing like an alarm clock on steroids. The military, though. Still can't drop their charade. They've created a committee, a special one to boot. So official. The civilians don't give much of a damn either. They used to whine about being transferred to the Sibiriskaya. And when the military stopped all immigration, they just switched to bickering over spots furthest away from the tunnels. What difference does it make? Hardly half of us will be alive in a month. Feeling sick. I wonder how much radiation I have swallowed in the last month. December 15. The station manager gave out the radio protector today. It appears they were making the stuff at the institute. I thought they did it just to keep the folks from panicking, but no. I feel better as soon as I took the shot. It looks like we're gonna be staying here for a little longer. Why do we never get any of these things? Anti-rads. 
January 1st. How many years has passed since my whole life? Was there anything even worth noting in that life? I just wasted it all here, in the underground. Well, I did move to the depot, but that's just work. You could do worse if you want your green stuff. So, I just went without writing anything down. Who cares about day-to-day -day stuff? You can't even tell one year from another down here. The second. I just had to go and write that shit yesterday. Talk about bad luck. Where did all those worms come from, with it being winter and all? Spent the whole day cleaning the tunnel. In the technical corridor, the slime ate through all the planks. Maybe damned if I know what we're gonna build walkways with from now on. Still, it didn't get the mushrooms. Famine definitely is something we could do without. 15th. Our boys are back from the surface. Ooh, so they have their own Spartan order kind of thing too? Two of the five, plus the spook. And they are keeping their mouths shut. Managed to get them talking over drinks. The Academ Gorg Dock Green Stuff Warehouse is empty now. That's where our friends are going. They'll have to cut our supply down. I'm lucky to have some set aside for a rainy day. And when that runs out, who cares about this life anyways? February 15th. I called it! They cut our hand out by half! I can survive, but what are the people with families supposed to do? March 15. Another month. Another cut by half. Just one flask. This is enough to last a week here. Another week later, you start puking your guts out. Another two, and it's time to start shopping for a coffin. Though, coffins are a thing of the past now. You're lucky if they don't feed you to the pigs once you croak now. April 10th. Gave my last five flasks to Kolya. His daughter's got the rash already. With this, she should get better for a spell. I'm done with sitting on my butt in this hole. The others say the same. We're gonna go have some fun. Spread our wings a bit before closing time. Sounds like a relatively young person who knows that they're gonna die, so they're like, whatever, we'll go out with a bang. That was one big loop, though. Okay! 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 Oh, okay! They can't swim. Oh my lord. Oh no, what's that? <gasps> well, it doesn't even feel like the metro tunnels here. It's unexplored cave area. Don't drip stuff on me, please. I want to go home. But we can't. We gotta get the medicine. Ugh! Stupid leech. Stop! I gotta take some out because they're hurting me. Yeah, look at how much you're hurting me. Or should I just be going, really? Yeah, maybe that's a better plan. The longer I stay still here, the more they're shooting at me. I don't even know what they're shooting at me. Little... Hasidic <laughs> things? Oh, I'm gonna die. We've only got two more medkits. I gotta make more once we land. Strangely enough, these things aren't trying to bind me and kill me. The tunnel's getting 
smaller and smaller. Oh my god. No, 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 Please, please, no. Just... I'm not here for this. I am not here for this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Our boat! On a time limit here. We have filters. Let's go, let's go. Gigantic leeches. These aren't things that we've seen in our metro stations before. Probably because we haven't seen water. There was a lot of water here. The natural habitat of leeches. Irradiated mutant leeches. Come on. We're good. Fast. Quickly. Look at the rotting! The amount of rotting! On the train carts. This isn't even rotting! It's covered in that leechy stuff. They're hurting me again. And my gas mask is cracking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, not at the doorway! Hold on! Shoot! Yeah, no, no, no! Please, just give me a second, okay? I wanted to make a few more medkits. And now I'm suffocating. Oh my god! Too many things are happening at once! And now my battery's dead! Okay, okay. Oh god! A lot of goddamn leeches here. Gross, gross, gross. I just... Uh... Okay, more importantly though, look at my gas mask. It's completely... It's completely broken. I had to put a tape on it again. What is with those leeches? Are they supposed to be like that? It's... Oh god, it's eating my knives. Ah, uh, where? I don't know where. But we gotta go, we gotta go. Okay, we really are gonna die if we don't... 
won't you die? Here. No, no, please, no. I just, just want to get out of here, please. Quickly. Speed through while Slowtronic collects supplies. And uh, sooner or later we'll be at Lenin Square! Lenin Square! Lenin Square Station! Suddenly reminded me of how earlier I dropped in one of these things. Should probably avoid walking on them. Miller's not here to save me anymore. Is it even worth it trying to stay here to get the leeches? I don't think so. Because there's so many of them. Nope, we're not going back. Go. It can't even fit. This seems promising. Oh! Oh! God! Lord, save me! What happened? What happened? The the ladder. Oh my god! Okay, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. No, this is the way we came, goddammit. I think we gotta go back on the boat again. Look at this, though. I need a med kit again. <coughs> Very quickly. We haven't even been through the area, and I'm almost out of med kits again. Yeah, this is a different boat. Earlier, the one we had a lantern on it. Oh god, no, 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 no. I wanted to take the initiative and get them. Before they get me. This is... It seems like some kind of warehouse area now. But we still saw train carts. Completely covered in that goopy stuff. The slime. Oh, why do I keep doing this? Please tell me we're like 30 meters away! 30 meters away from. Ah! No! I was trying to wipe my mask, you know, because there were like 20 leeches on it. My weapon's getting so dirty, it's jamming, too. That's not good. Plus... Amount of bullets running out. 
Oh, this is really, really not good. I think this might be a good time to put back on the four barrel thing on the shotgun, though. The A-shot. I'm hoping one or two would be enough to... Oh, can we... Oh, no, no, no. This gun, this gun. We're at the minimum. Double, you know? Yeah. It can be shot in a salvo or separately. This is two barrels of its four at once. Two. Let's do double. Let's go, let's go. Oh my god. It's still so far away. Got caught a little bit. Trying my best to uh, get out of this. But there is literally light at the end of the tunnel. That's one small relief. Nobody's been here in a long, long time. The radiation is still as high as ever. Oh, are we outside? Icicles. <gasps> I'm dying. The train! 